what up everybody welcome back to the channel welcome back to the vlog from the great sunshine state of florida look at that sun Woo! so sunny there you go got them rays on me but yeah today's video is gonna be about my axle oh crap the neighbor scared the pachisas out of me did you guys see that <laughs> Jesus, out of me. Hey, man. My, uh, what's it called? My Agent Orange kicked up. Just kidding. But um, I'm going to show you guys what happened. I was uh, doing some stuff on my suspension and I found a problem with the axle. So I had to get the axle replaced, or I'm going to replace the axle. And as usual, if this is your first time checking out the videos, please definitely hit that subscribe button bell icon ding for future uploads like share and definitely comment and let's get on with today's video so here i am underneath the car as you can see right here all the grease has slung out from my axle i'm not sure if the axle itself is bad i've turned it i don't know if i could turn it now because i got the emergency brake on I myself have turned it and I really didn't see like where the boot is torn or if it if you even sounds broken but it only will get worse from there so I just went ahead and got the bought the axle from the dealership for that I'd like to thank Jay and Chris from the dealership for helping a brother out um, there were no axles uh, the driver's side axle. There's no axles in the inventory at uh, Dodge. So what they did was they called around to a few dealerships for me and they found one, I believe in North Carolina that was willing to sell it to us. So I was able to sell, they were able to sell it to me and I got it turned around in about two days. So I definitely wanna thank the homie Jay and Chris at my local parts department. They've great dudes love going there it's always a fun time and jay i still owe you a ride in the hellcat i still might let you drive it i'm not sure yet but i for sure definitely owe you a ride chris i don't know you like that yet but maybe soon but yeah so now i got the axle now i'm gonna go ahead and get this one taken out and then i'm gonna go ahead and install the other one so i'm gonna make sure i got all my tools that i need here at the house and then i'll go ahead and get that knocked out all right so here it is i got the caliper off rotor off got this first and link off take this sway bar off and i'm going to take this one took the wheel speed sensor off right there I already loosened this bolt right here it's a what is it, a 31 millimeter yep it's a 31 millimeter so i'm gonna take this one off this one off broke this loose already my intention is to pull this out a little hopefully it pivots enough to where i could finagle it out and hopefully i don't have to mess with the e-brake cable but just in case i have to i'll let you guys know so i have all the three pieces disconnected um i have this all the way off i put this nut back on there and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna hit it with the hammer to help push it uh through all right so it's broke loose take the nut back off um even though uh, i think i'm reusing this nut I don't think it came with a new nut, so I just got it broken through. So now it's going to come to part with finagling it, pulling it, and pushing and getting the rest of it out of the way. All right, so these are the old ones right here. All the grease was slinging out of this. It doesn't sound like it's broken, but it is moving kind of freely. Maybe it is. This one's pretty stiff. <laughs> and then this one... It starts just flopping around. And then this one's pretty stiff. So 
this item is a core item. So I'm gonna have to return the um the old one. Then I'm gonna put the new one in. I just gotta take this um, protector off that protects the seal right here. So I don't want it to get damaged putting it in. So I may just get it down there, get it where I need it, and then I'll take that off. But down here, man, let me get some better light for you guys. But yeah, so I had to take all these off, bend it out. I loosened the emergency brake cable here and right up here to give it a little bit more room. And then that's how it looks down there. Everything in there looks good. The only thing is small casualty. I like cut my hand, well, my not my wrist, but my forearm, like right on this thing right here. So I'm gonna take me a breather, cause it's a pain getting that out by myself, especially out of this part right here was the hardest. Out there, there ain't nothing, just pop it out. And everything comes out good. So I'm gonna take me a breather, and then I'm gonna fight and put the other one back in, but I gotta do it more gen gingerly so I don't damage it. So I'll let you guys know how that went. All right, guys, there it is axle all installed everything bolted back in torqued down um took me a little bit longer than i needed to because once i was able to pop it out of there it took a hard time to kind of leverage down and get it out without trying not to break anything or dent my fenders or anything like that so there it is all installed everything else is um all the bolts all torqued down all i'm gonna do now is put a little paint marker on them to make sure that they don't um move i'll drive like a couple hundred miles and check them yep so there it is axle all installed and that's the old one right there gotta send that back for a $50 core charge. So once again, it's another late night. Um, teleworking the last couple of days, so working late um, isn't a problem. But got the axle all in. Next, put the wheels on tomorrow, and I'm gonna drop it back down to the ground, and then I'm gonna turn around, turn it around and do some more stuff with the car, getting it ready for Memphis and Stunner Reese, I'm coming for you. But as usual, guys, thanks for checking out the videos. Definitely hit that subscribe button down below, the bell ding icon for future uploads. Check out my previous vids. Definitely give it a thumbs up, comment, and definitely share the videos. Again, thanks for another late night with Mission Flyer in the garage. Peace. Oh, yeah, and one more thanks. J. Chris for Walton Beach Jeep Ram Dodge. My boys, thanks for the help. Peace. I don't know what sleepers. I got a queen. She lit me the evening. She ripe like a peach and she snapped me the snippet. You well overdue for that link up in person. Text me to fall through a smurder. She wrote it. Still up with courage. You're doing a service. Pull up to the crib. I'm equipped with the brush strokes. Cut throat from the low, low. When no love goes. Women, buddy, buddy, like a